chapter. Survival mode. Well, 76. Should be here in the power plant. She should be here. I move people around because I wanted to. Oh, god damn it. Death claws. That's horrible. Oh, he's got mad luck. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, that's not good. It, it could have been worse. I could have gotten a, a radiation scorpion, I guess. Oh yeah, there wasn't many comments in the last... Um, I have to say, there weren't that many people watching in the last stream. So yes, I do remember you asked a few questions. Like the worst time to be attacked because my people are all over the place. I so when I when I put them to train overnight, I uh, I put the bare minimum in the power plant uh, and I and I do uh, and I place people to train, you know, stats. And so death claws are bad to get at this point. Yeah, all my resources are always low <laughs> as well. Alright, it's gonna be bad. They're gonna actually probably, it's gonna probably reach the training center down there. That's not good. Oh, a lot of level one people, that's not good. That's horrible. <sighs> now I gotta stabilize my situation. Okay, he's maxed level, that's nice. But I'm gonna put him here, I guess. Oh, I got a new weapon, that's right, I was building a nice weapon there. So her... I decided I guess I'm just gonna keep her there. As you can see, I have a lot of people training. Like, a lot. They have to go here. Asian scorpion, come on. Oh. Hmm. 
Where did they go? Where? Oh, this guy? This guy can handle it. To be honest, I don't know why he's there. Oh, that's right. I sent I sent this guy down here. That's why. Ugh. Now I have no power. Like no power. It's interesting that um, certain things power down, but certain things don't. Like, it doesn't matter if I have, like, zero power, which I have zero power at the moment. Certain things don't power down. Like, the... I guess because I built the um, diner and the water treatment plant right next to the power plants, and the same with the hospital up here, they don't shut down. That's my theory, but I could be wrong. Come on, this thing refuses to die. It's horrible, horrible situation. I got like no food. give this guy uh go here yeah <laughs> that's funny <laughs> wow i don't know i don't know oh why did you rush a lot or something <laughs> okay i completed that one that's why i sent someone overnight into the waste he's uh He's there collecting me stuff. He's found some nice stuff like a legendary buttercup and teddy bears. I needed teddy bears. I needed that as well. Most okay, most of the stuff he found me was crap. Oh another teddy bear, that's nice. I I want that yeah, that's why. Ooh, Robin, look at that. Oh, that's nice. I think I have to send people overnight more often. He was level when I sent him out overnight he was level thirty three, now he's forty one. That's nice. I gotta do that more often, send someone out to the waste. But I just, I, I don't want to spur some people because it could end badly. Um, yeah, my situation is pretty bad. Like, my people are gonna take, like, food, like, damage for lack of food. Oh, this is this is this is gonna be pretty bad. Yeah, radiation. That's the thing. Um, you, this is why I heal my people with the radiation damage. If you don't have the sim packs, it's, I mean the radio waves, there's nothing you can do about it. But I make sure to fully heal my people because of the radiation. So what I would, if I was you, what I would do is that I would um, stop rushing and uh, like, uh, okay, these are not that bad. Um, you might have to take a break from the game, like you know, let your people produce like sim packs and radiation away, and then you heal your people if you give them. Uh, if you heal the radiation and uh, you fully heal them, they'll start getting happy again. If they put them working in a power plant or just make babies. Making babies is another way to make them happy. Yeah, that's the problem. You have to build the science centers. Like this. It's called the science center right here. You gotta build those. That's, a, that's really needed. 
He's just interesting. All right. I didn't realize that was a mission there. I gotta skip this one. This one is horrible. Yeah. So what I did is I built like two hospitals. This one and that one. And then I built the science centers there. Yeah, that's the thing. You're gonna have to wait then. Hope for the, hope to find a stranger, I guess. Or send someone out in the wastelands or something. If you have uh, if you have uh, Mr. Handies, they'll collect uh, stuff bottle caps in the wastelands themselves. Why? Is, oh, this is a new Mr. Handy. See, this Mr. Handy's already max. He can only carry us uh, five thousand. So he's coming back. This one's coming back. That one's coming back. And this is my fourth Mr. Handy. But I got lucky and found in uh, in like a lunchbox. No, no, it was a challenge. It was an objective. And I got a Mr. Handy. He's collecting me. Most of the crap he's collecting me was like garbage. Look at this. Most of this is garbage. Except for this. And that one. I really needed that one. And the teddy bears. But this guy has to come back. I can, I've used up 15 sim packs. He doesn't take any radiation damage. But I sent them with max radiation uh, right away just in case. Like, I don't know what she's. I, I gotta. Can't keep her around here. Victory. Okay, so she's max agility. And she's max strength. So that's easy. Just go here. Yeah, that's true. That's a real pickle there. Um, they do slowly heal, but the radiation, I don't know how long that takes. And get, them getting unhappy is a problem. You just have to hope for the stranger, you know? They do heal themselves if they rank up, you know, by working and stuff. But you gotta hope for the stranger, and then you gotta build a science center worst case scenario you have to destroy something and then build a science center but you might not have the bottle caps anyway but you gotta hope for um, the stranger try doing objectives also like this one I got a pet for that one in fact I should have sent another one out to the waste I would have probably gotten this one faster Should, uh, she's almost done with strength. How many uh, dwellers do you have? Wow, I took a lot more damage this time. Jeez. They're doing more damage now. Oh, this guy. Look at this guy. This guy has 10 endurance, 10 strength, 10 agility, and 10 luck. Kind of crazy. Which helps rushing this area. Alright, oh, I'm supposed to send a, this guy here. And I'm gonna send her up here. This guy is gonna be my squad leader, I guess, because he's the most developed in stats. 10, 10, 10. I just need to increase his perception on luck some more, so he's gonna. I'm soon gonna have a very powerful team to send out on missions. Very soon. He's gonna be one of the other ones. The stats, he's need more stats. Maybe I'll replace him with him because he has. I don't know. This guy. This 
this guy's also gonna be another guy. Ah, so you, you won't have to worry about the death clause at least. Finally, my people are not starving to death. have to stabilize my base before I do a mission. I, I send the people overnight to do this mission and they're just kind of standing there. I don't want to do it now because most a significant part of my base is underpowered. So I just gotta wait. Actually I think I might be better off putting her here. up some more then put him to in the school because his stats are meant for like science that means they're grown up <laughs> unless they starve and die or something <laughs> I mean I assume you have enough food because <laughs> the kids do that da they take damage of food and you can't heal them if you have low food but I don't have any kids at the moment that said, the kids, that means the kids have grown up when you come back. They, it'll, it'll tell you. Unless they're being kidnapped or something, I don't know. I think I might have to put her there. I'm slowly powering up my base again. This guy's just wandering there. Uh, 76. Um, I don't think the vault number matters to be honest. It's just a convenient way of saving and distinguishing between them. Let me just fully heal these level 1s. I actually put the um, vote number in the title because of the fact that uh, I did a uh, another vote w in survival, but then I decided that I wanted to start it from b the beginning. I wanted to start it from a new because I kept getting death ball attacks, and I was like, "Wow, my base is not really." I I, I thought about it, and I was like, "You know what? I want to build my base differently." because of the death claw attacks and I realized yeah I want to build power plants up here and uh, this thing here before I didn't even have an elevator up here I had it all the way down there because uh, I can always stop them here around here it's, it's the only t reason that the death claw went to there and then went here was because of the fact that I didn't have enough people up here I only had like with the one person but usually I can stop the death claws here yeah uh, also, um, for happiness, you want to um, do um, bottle and caps missions. You want to do them as quickly as possible because they come around and make your people happy. Like my people went from 92 to 99 now in happiness. 
That's a very, that's a very bad time to get a... What? I can't, I can't answer you at the moment. I got a radiation scorpion messing with me. It's like the worst time to get a radiation scorpion. Like, my god. I don't even have enough power. I don't know what he wants with this place. He's not gone, I know that. <laughs> I, I don't even know where the radiation scorpion is. Cool. Um, I'll tell you in a sec how do you get Mr. Handy's, um, I'm just gonna, I don't know where the, I gotta look out where the radiation scorpion is. Mr. Handy's I got on the wasteland. I got one um, from a uh, objective. I got like, oh fuck, that's a bad spot. I got one from, oh there they finally beat him. Jesus Christ. Um, let, let's see, where did I get it? I got, I got two from a wasteland mission. Like, I sent someone out on the wasteland and I, all of a sudden I got a quest from the wasteland. This is a very bad time for that this radiation scorpion to come around. He could have given me a, a new quota. But anyway, got two from the wastelands, one from an objective, and another one from a mission, like a quest. That's where I got them. Yeah, you don't want to rush if it's like 30 something percent, you know. I mean, I do it occasionally, but only on the places that I know I can stop the incidents. Like, yeah, you, you want to lower your chances, you maybe increase the luck of your people. Like, I really should increase her luck and his luck. But at the moment, I have power issues. Damn, I forgot to heal him. I mean, for her, I might as well just give her this. 
Oh, another radiation scorpion. I'm, I'm getting them back to back. Luckily, I'm tra these are these are high stats people. So and they have good weapons. Well, except for her, she, her weapon is kind of uh, okay, I guess. Still playing this game, still training as squad for mission. He's one of them. But as you can see, I've progressed quite a bit with stats on my people. But, but yeah, for, um, I guess for Master Cube Craft, you, you really want to do bottle and cap. Uh, I'll show you bottle and cap. You, you want to do this. Wait, what the hell is that? Science co-op. Look at that. I might actually risk it and do that one. That looks interesting. But maybe not. Anyway, you, you want to do bottle and cap. You do that mission, then that mission, then that one. And then you do this one. And then the last one, bottle and cap comes and visits you and makes your people happy. But you gotta stop rushing. <laughs> yeah, I probably should. Looks interesting. I'm fine unless there's a radiation scorpion there. Then I'll then I'll do a critical and kill me. I noticed the the critical, the radiation scorpion. I mean the uh, the glowing uh, green one. Um. Oh, I see. The radiation, the glowing green one, uh, does attack with the tail, and that that's the critical. It takes like more than half your life, depending on your character, your dweller. Well, these guys are combat ready. Look at that. Look at the tens on that one, and her, and him. Wait, that's the same guy. Okay, cool, thanks. You have a good day, I guess. <laughs> good rest of the day. <laughs> this game does not get old. So I still have yet to start that mission mostly because of the fact that I need to power up my base here. This guy should really, um, I need to level this guy up. you to build an overseer sh um, place but the thing about it is is that if you don't have the people to send and you don't have those impacts then it might not be a good idea
Yeah, you need more hospitals or to expand your hospitals or to upgrade it. But you need to build a science center first. These uh, science centers for the railways, build at least like two together. You're gonna wanna do that. Uh, I'm running out of Simpax. Three, three minutes. Radiation Scorpion, right? Yeah, Radiation Scorpion. It, it was 21% chance of failure and then a Radiation Scorpion. This is definitely going to be pretty bad. Okay, it won't be so bad. These guys will stop him. Victory. It could have been a lot worse. A lot worse. No, I need my uh, doctors to produce. I need my lucky suit. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah, you, you need to um, put more people in the water treatment plant. <laughs> Even with perception, you gotta balance it out, you know. If if you don't have water, your people will take radiation damage. If you don't have enough food, your people will just take regular damage. And if you don't have power, of course the place starts shutting down. I think I might increase his perception, but there's really no point. This guy is training his agility. I would probably, I should probably train his luck or something. Cool. There's the production. I could do that because this guy has a lot of luck. This guy. And I gave him a... That's just, they gave him a lot of luck, so... I did that specifically for that. I need the sports outfit. There you go. Cool. Oh, look at that. Look at those, uh, ghouls. Feral ghouls. 
Like six of them. Since you're playing in normal mode, it's not that bad. I mean, one of, if one of your daughters dies, you can revive them with bottle caps. You just need more bottle caps. I'm being extra cautious because if my people die, like, that's it. I can't revive them and I put too much time training, especially these guys up here. Like, I've had him from the beginning and I've trained him a lot. And him, he's one of my, I guess, he had high endurance early on and uh, he was still somewhat low level when I started uh, maximizing his endurance. So he has a lot of health too and I don't want to lose anyone here. But yeah. At this point it won't necessarily be the end of the war. Actually it'd be pretty bad if I lose them. Because I have other people who are, have similar stats like they do like him. But he's going on a mission. And if, you know, because before I had two teams going on missions but they all died. So, I don't want to lose those guys anymore, but those guys are pretty tough. It's hard to lose them. As long as I have sim packs. Well, I have plenty of water. I think I'm gonna give her. I'm gonna help with the power plant here. You should train strength. Uh, yeah, I should do that. I never got around to doing it. I should put an intro on the channel. <laughs> make a clip of one of my videos or something and put something funny on there something related to the channel I'm not sure what it will be yeah there, there is the time difference <laughs> So far, so good. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna train his uh, even there. For me, it's like 6:50 p.m. I'm on the east coast of the U.S. Where the hell is the mole rats? Oh, there they are. She's still wearing lingerie. Ah, yeah. Interesting. 
So we have the same time. So far so good. I'm just trying to power up my base. Last time I rushed though, I got a radiation scorpion. After I power up my base, I'm gonna do this mission right here. I have someone out in the wasteland. He's been out there for a long time. He's been out there a day. He's found a lot of stuff. <laughs> Most of the stuff I have to scrap though, and I don't think I can even carry it. Ah, oh, close enough. Duct tape car. I like the Raiders, they give me stuff. Why? Why, why are you taking so much damage? What the hell? I must have forgotten to heal them when the radiation scorpion hit. Well, I try to keep my people fully healed because you never know. An incident can happen and you're not fast enough to die. You want them completely fully healed. They got good weapons by the looks of them. This guy has the best weapon and he's just running around and shooting already. Look at that, he's just running around. No, I didn't get I didn't get that from the wasteland, no. I, I got that from a um I forget, I either made it or got it from a let me look at it actually that one I I got from either I, I got one of those from the Raiders they like died and gave me an enhanced flame I was like wow very nice and uh, I also gotten them from missions and I forget from a lunchbox maybe I didn't make that enhanced flame I know for a fact because the flamers that I made were the pressurized ones I'll show you <clears throat> Actually, let me uh, do that. Yeah, me too. So, I guess I can't make that anymore. I don't have enough globes. But the flamer that I made was... I've only made a... Uh, where are they? Da, da, da. Interesting, I don't think I've ever seen a hardened flamer before. This one, the pressurized flamer. The 15 to 19 damage. I've made those. Those are the ones I've made. I also made the plasma rifle and the junk jet, but not that one. The better junk jet. This one, the tactical one. I can't... Oh, I don't have the recipe for a baseball bat yet, but I have three of those, so it's fine. Like, that one I made... I'm pretty sure I made that one as well. Nice. I, I, I think I got a level. I don't remember the level. But I got this one from... Uh, I got this guy right here from a... Uh, lunchbox I think his intelligence was like maybe eight or nine I forget his endurance was one though uh, every all the other stats I haven't trained the only thing I trained with him was his endurance and his intelligence I ignored everything else but he had good stats it's just that his endurance was shit but I trained him and he was still kind of low level when I trained him I forget I think he was mid-level 
when I started training his endurance. So he's he has decent health. But he's meant to be like a doctor, a scientist. That one I've never seen. No, never sell those. No, don't sell those. You need them for weapons and for outfits. You should not sell those. Just just build build a storage. Build build these things right here, the storage warehouse. Just build them somewhere away from your base. Like like here, like this barber shop. Build it like there. Or wherever. But don't sell those. Cause uh, you need those chunks. Like this. You, you need the ramen hide, you need this, you need magnifying glass, you need shovels for that good weapon. I don't know, I haven't used them yet, but uh, if it's a legendary junk, don't get rid of them. <laughs> you want to keep those. You, you're going to need them for legendary weapons and stuff. I just got a... I was going to move him. Train his strength. Yeah, you just, um, yeah, I'll show you what you use uh, shovels for. You don't, you probably don't have the blueprints right now, but I'll show you. Yes, there is a way of turning off the mic. But you can do it physically, like I'm about to do now. Or you can do it in uh, the menu, like the broadcast setting menu. So you see, you see this weapon. This weapon uses shovels. That weapon uses shovels. That one uses it. This weapon uses shovels. That one does. That one. That one uses a shovel. That one uses a shovel. Oh, cool, thanks. I I only have like the four Mr. Handys, <laughs> but I don't use them in the base. I send them out to the wastelands because they'll die and I get a lot of incidents. I don't know. I'll, I'll use them in the future, but I don't need it now. See this weapon right here? This enhanced railway rifle? That one uses shovels. I think I might make that one actually. I think I might make that one. <laughs> Yeah, because I have no. I don't want to use the corkscrew though. There's a lot of weapons that use shovels, so you don't want to sell the shovels. I mean, that one uses. Uh, that's a crappy weapon though. This weapon uses shovels. Uh, let me look at the rare ones. Those are the ones that I care about anyway. Shovel, shovel. That one is a shovel. That's a shovel. That's a shovel. That one. That one. Yeah, you do a different one for now. That one shovel. That's a shovel. That's a shovel. Uh, that one. That one. That one. I think a flamer uses a shovel. Let me see. Yeah, look at the. You see the flamers? They use shovels. Like this enhanced flamer uses a shovel, and this uh, even better flamer right here uses a shovel. So you don't want to get rid of your shovels, those are important. The tactical jets uses shovels and this pressurized flamer uses a shovel. And the and the alarm clocks. You wanna keep the alarm clocks, the microscopes and the shovels, and the globes, you wanna keep the globes, those are important. And I've never gotten actually I did get rid of some junk. Oh come on, where's the radiation scorpion? 
So I did get rid of some junk, but that was because of the fact that I, I needed it for a mission. So I sold some junk, but it, the junks were cars and uh, like common stuff, you know? I got a lot of cars from, from scrapping stuff. Toy cars, I mean. And now I have to check the other, what the other stat is. Ah. It's kind of all random. You see, that's the problem with this. Once I try to get my power up, and I think I'm almost there, I get a radiation trophy and it takes an hour to finally get my base power up. It's a mistake for the radiation scorpion to go up here. These are my most powerful people. As you can see, and they have my best weapons. My hardened minigun. My well, plasma rifle and another plasma rifle, which is better. I will be able to make better weapons, but I need to get... I need to upgrade this and I need 75 dollars, so I need to make eight more babies, I guess. Yeah, I'm kind of messed. I'm kind of screwed here. So, just gonna send him here or her. I'm gonna send him here. He should have a dog, actually. He should be using the dog. The hardest mission I've done was uh, let me think. It was some kind of weekly challenge. Those are the weekly challenge, those are the daily challenge. It, it was either a daily challenge or a weekly challenge. I don't remember which of the two it was. And when I entered there, at the second or third room, my team got slaughtered. Like two of my people got killed and then I left. Well, it was by a radiation scorpion. And I left and yeah, but two of my people were dead. I was like, damn. And another hard one was a daily, no, that was the weekly challenge. I no let me think um again I don't remember which it was but it was another weekly challenge or another daily challenge where I sent it on a mission and they were doing fine until they met a guy who was really tough like a, a, a human who had a skull and he threw a grenade to the ground and like killed my entire group like in one hit they had full health they just wiped them out I was like what the hell then the cat came back I brought back my weapons and my outfit. I was like, oh, that's awesome. I didn't know that. I didn't know the cat could bring back your weapons. Oh, Fader, come on, that was 10%. So, yeah. But it should be noted that the people who died on those missions had low uh, endurance. So they were not, like, they didn't have a lot of health. They, they weren't the guys with the best health. But interestingly enough, if you send people out on missions, you want to send them out with one pet. Because if your people die, now they all have to die. So if only one of them dies, you, well, you can revive them actually because you're playing normal mode. But if you're not playing normal mode and your team gets killed and you can't revive them, the cat brings back the weapons and the outfit. It could be a cat, it could be a dog, it could be a bird, I don't know. But it seems to bring back your weapons and your outfits. So that was nice. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just the way the game is. It's random. I, I got lucky last time. I got. I did it five times in a row, and then I was able to do the challenge right away. The, the objective. Yeah. I'm, I, Okay, I didn't realize they took radiation damage. 
See, I was trying to power up my base to do a mission, but I keep getting, uh, you know, messed up there. I'm gonna try to risk it again. Throw a failure again. <laughs> this time I got a radiation scorpion for my trouble. That's what I get for rushing. See, my people here are pretty tough. They can fight that scorpion, no problem. But I only had one person there, that's the problem. If I had if I had five people there, I could have stopped it. I don't know where the scorpion went. Okay, the scorpion is over here. Now I got like no power. Nice, they stopped them. The best pet I have is, um, that I heard about, I'm not sure. Because I haven't really heard too much about the good pets, but the best pet I have is, is this dog right here. He's a legendary. The pet is so good that, um, I had an objective where I was supposed to punch and defeat, um, ten, uh, feral, um, ghouls. I was supposed to kill them with my fist. And so what I did is that um, I was trying to do it. I didn't do uh, I didn't do much damage. But the second time they came, I uh, put that dog on one of the group, and I had three people there with like fists, and they were doing quite a bit of damage to, to the zombies, to the ghouls, just using their fists because the dog gives you plus six um, damage. So it was quite useful. But this this bird is really good too. I mean, it's not a legendary though. So the legendary uh, parrot would probably be even better. And of course there's that dog and cat that, you know, makes it so you get and can't come back from the waste faster, so that's nice. Oh, I got that dog that increases the chance of finding weapons and stuff in the waste. I don't know, this is how much crap this guy has found there. It's gonna take him a long time to come back now. It's gonna take him like... 15 hours to come back, because it's half the time. Apparently bottle caps are currency. Kinda of funny. But this is taking so long, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna rush. I'm tired of the rushing failures. But I'm just gonna have to accept the fact that some of the guys won't be able to produce here. 40, 70. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm training my weak people. I think they can handle it. Uh, see? She's uh, level 1, endurance. First thing I do is train endurance. So all the people here are level 1 except for her. Assault rifle. I thought I should give them something better. Maybe I should give him the flavor.
I go for a both strength and agility after endurance. Yeah, it depends. Like uh. The, uh, so they train f the lower the stat is, the faster it trains. So whichever stat is the lowest. Like, let me see. Um, look at this guy. Uh, I'll train his strength over. That's not a good example. Um, someone at level one. Like her? No, like him. You see, he has two strength and one agility. I'll train his agility first. And, uh, yeah, then I train his strength and generally strength depends. I'll switch him around. I think it's a fun game. But to each their own. Let's see if I can rush that one. Eight. I wouldn't have power issues if it wasn't for the repeated failures. Like here people are training strength. Yeah, the thing is I don't think I'm going to be ready anytime soon so I think I'm going to just go for the mission. I'm just going to take the power from here and I'm going to have to move her because they need water. It's just gonna take too long, so. So I'm gonna go for a mission after I pick up this water here. I wanted I wanted my base fully powered so everyone here is training. But the radiation scorpions, I keep getting radiation scorpions, so there isn't much I could do. Let me rush this actually. There you go. Okay, so it's not that bad. Some of my people are training now. I'm gonna do that mission now. Oh, come on. Actually, my people should be able to handle it pretty quickly. No, they don't have decent weapons, actually. Alright. I gotta give them something. Give them a combat rifle. Shotgun. I'm not giving them the flamers because the flamers are going to be, there you go, are, are, are not for the people who are trained. The flamers are going to be people who are almost going to go out on missions. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I, uh, a lot of the people here, I'm training for our strength. Strength is for power plants, but also for missions. But I wonder, because you see down here, this is a strength sensor. This is the people for strength. That's why I wanted to power up the place so I can send someone here to train for strength and then bring this guy back. But, oh well. I'm going to do this mission now. They've been there waiting for a while. I could have done this mission like an hour ago. God damn. <laughs> that... Yeah, I I could have I could have done this mission like an hour ago, but then again I had to stabilize my base, so I could have done this mission like half hour ago. But okay. So they wants me to talk to the overseer of the vault. This mission is probably gonna be easy. I don't think there's any enemies here. Or maybe there are and I... Yeah, there are probably some enemies. Oh no, radiation rope. I don't know if that's bad or good. I focus on the rope. Focus on the green one. It's not that bad. If it was a radiation scorpion, it'd be a problem. As you can see, they all have cats. <laughs> Now, why did I give them all cats? Let's see, um... 
And this kind of increases the wasteland return speed. Yeah, that's what I thought too. This one has wasteland bottle caps. And this one has the return speed as well. I was thinking this, uh, there's probably no overseer here. It's pretty small, that. Not a hard mission. I, I selected this mission. It was it would take it would take ten hours to reach it. So I did it overnight. Although since I haven't played this game in like since yesterday, so that's more than twenty four hours anyway. Didn't matter. So when you send people out on long missions is when you're gonna take a break from the game. Let me get rid of his radiation. That's what I do anyway. Unless you have a lot of uh, new colas. He said he, the, the broadcast is probably up there, but I'm going to go down here. Oh, I thought that... Okay, that's just a roach. This one isn't hard. I don't think there's anything here. But except for that. <clears throat> Maybe. There's a lot of radioactive stuff here. Like nothing here? Yeah, that's suspicious. We'll talk about it later and how? Weird. You, you, you gotta... You gotta focus on... Oh, damn it. Gotta focus on that one. You gotta focus on the skull one always, cause uh, they either ha either they throw a grenade that hits everyone, they there are some kind of radiation scorpion that can really kill your guys, or they uh, or they're that mole that can call more moles, and it's annoying. Yep, this is the wrong way. I know it was the wrong way, that's why I selected it. I always like to go the wrong way first, because I think there's going to be loot and something else. I'm just used to that in games. If the objective is pointing one way and I don't have a time limit, I think I'll, I'll explore over here first. <laughs> of course, if you go the right way, then you have to backtrack. Oh. I didn't mean to skip the dialogue there. No, I'm not sure. Ha, <laughs> you read it. <laughs> now I'm not sure what they were talking about, but oh, nice new cola. But the gist of it is that this is a, one of those apocalypse missions. Horseman of the Apocalypse, and you have to talk to. Uh, they're like four cultists, and yeah, yeah. Either have to find death or talk to the listen to the radio station. Oh, radiation! Yeah. Or you miss out on uh, secret bosses or like side stuff. You miss out on part of the story. What the fuck? 
Okay, that's why you want to focus on the dangerous one first. No, okay. Focus on the green one. They don't really, they're not really doing a lot of damage. It's mostly the radiation that's kind of annoying. I still see a life bar there. You see that? Looks like it on the chair. Like the roach left or something. Oh, that one was too fast. Okay, this guy's a slow one. This is the guy that has the better... Ah, uh, still mess it up. For combat, um, when you're on missions, you want strength, agility, and endurance to be maxed. Especially the endurance max at low level. But luck and perception help as well. I don't think you really need charisma or intelligence, but maybe you do for like dialogue, but yeah. Generally, you don't have to level up intelligence or charisma, just all the other stats. Then you'll have the ultimate, I guess, uh, fighter in the missions. Oh, you, you did say something about Scorpion. Kill that one first. You were right about the scorpions, but not the radioactive one. We'll see. Hopefully, I don't encounter one of those. All of the loot that I've gotten is green. Like, no good weapons. Uh, some of these aren't that bad, but these are basic stuff. I did get a new cola, so that's nice. Death is, so Death is sleeping and you're cutting people to wake him up, that isn't insane at all. <laughs> I don't know which one to say, I'm not gonna say this one, but... I'm gonna ask him that one. Bunch of crazy cultists. They don't do that much damage, so I'm just gonna let them kill them normal. Oh, this guy's the one that's taking most of the damage. This guy's not taking much.
Ó. Oh. I got a lunchbox. That's why I did this mission because I saw a lunchbox. The lunchbox and then I think a new cola. I'm not sure. No, it was a lunchbox and uh, I guess this 30 volt suit. I didn't see the new cola actually. Or maybe I did. I don't remember at this point. There's nothing here. Oh, I thought that was already AC code. That's nice. Let's see. Let me fo fully heal them before they get back to the base. So that's it. Yeah. I expected a, a radiation scorpion. When you mentioned that, I was like, ah, and then I saw the scorpion, I was like, oh, come on. Yeah, there's going to be a radiation scorpion at the end somewhere. But just radiation roaches. That one is gonna take a while to come back. What I'm gonna do, actually, you know what? Considering that it took ten hours to get there, it would be five hours back normally. That's two and a half. Because the other cat didn't do anything really. It would have been two and a half. But the other cat just reduced a few minutes, so the other cat isn't necessary. And uh, I'm gonna wait like 38 minutes. Once it's under two minutes, I can rush her for one new cola. Ugh. This guy's still going strong. He's got two teddy bears for me. And why would I need the teddy bears, you wonder? Um, for to craft this horror fan outfit for the endurance. It's somewhere around here. Here. That's why I need a teddy bear. So apparently you need teddy bears to make a horror fan outfit, which is funny. You should focus on Simpax early on, but you want to build at least one science sensor to hold some radaways. But focus on the hospitals. Build two hospitals. Well, when I say two hospitals, I mean build like three hospitals together. Then build like two, uh, another hospitals with, um, uh, I don't know, you, you're going to... Well, this is what I did. So I built this hospital here, that's or, or a clinic, and they were like, uh, I built them together. And, a, and another one here. After I did that, I built this science center here. You don't have to build it this way, but you know. But you, if you're gonna build a science uh, hospital or a science center, you want two together at least. Two together is stronger than one. The th three together isn't that necessary though. Because if you build one and it's fully upgraded, right? You can only get three Simpax. If you build two of them together and they're both fully upgraded, you get nine instead of three. Now, if you build three instead of two together and fully upgraded, you get 12. So it's it's only like a three increase. So the most efficient, uh, the hospitals are the double ones, the two rooms together. For power plants, it's different because you get a lot more power. This is two a two room a power plant together and this is a three one, fully upgraded. So as you can see, you get Instead of 40, you get 
Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a good way of doing it. <clears throat> so early on, so you see in my hospitals, you, everyone here has 10 intelligence. But that wasn't the case at first. At first I had like people with 2 intelligence working in the hospitals. I had people with two intelligence, sometimes it was only one intelligence, but you know, I did what I could. But I did both the classroom early on, and then I trained a lot of people for their intelligence. play the waiting game. Let's see. Oh no, I remember that one. Send your dwellers out to a scientist on the waste. I remember that that daily mission. I'm pretty sure I encountered a radiation scorpion there. It's horrible. I almost have the guy trained for this. Oh, look at this one. Nice. This one I'll do overnight, but look at this one. This one's nice. Gives me a junk jet. I'm going to do this one next. Yeah, if you can increase his luck as well, that that would be you could be able to rush it and a lot. Assuming he has a high luck, if you can't, it's fine. Cause, oh damn, I don't want to pick that up, but it's it's cool. You should probably not even worry about luck until much later. This guy right here, I'm training. I'm, I want to get his agility maxed. And then I'll train his luck and perception a little bit, then I'll send him out on a mission. That's how I go sometimes. Like I had people train them for perception because I didn't really know where to put them. This guy had decent perception. I just put him in perception. I, but I guess it benefited me in the long run. But I also had uh, I had her and another guy train agility, 
they had eight agility and I didn't need that many for the diner so I had a, I had them work working at the power plant and I was like I didn't really mean to do that but then I sent her and another guy out and her and the other guy out on a mission and then the other guy died because you can send people out with good agility because they fire faster but in the end now that I have more people I do need the people working there so instead of sending her out on a mission and risking her I'm just gonna upgrade her agility to max and leave her in the diner because now I do need three people because I noticed that um, once I fully upgraded their agility those two were enough to feed most of my people huh I'm not sure You know, I guess the best accident that happened to me was um, two of my people died. I was like, no, actually, I think my squad got wiped out. And, uh, you know, they kept brought the stuff back. But I was like, damn. And then I got this guy. Oh, let me see. I got this guy from a card. Where is he? Him. This guy right here is a legendary. Uh, I'll show you in the stats. Like, uh, so I guess you can call it an accident, but it was a surprise and my people got wiped out on a mission. I was like, oh, damn it. And then right after that, I got this guy right here from a uh, lunchbox. Those are his stats. His starting stats. It's my first legendary dweller. He, and he's a legendary dweller that brought me a legendary gun pistol that's not that useful but a legend and also a legendary costume so that was nice unexpected But that accident, if you can call it an accident, because again, the guy threw a grenade and wiped my people out, taught me that the the pets come back. Even if your people are dead, you don't lose the pet, they just come back. <laughs> and they bring back your weapon. It took, it, took, it took that cat like two and a half days to come back, but he came back with my stuff, so I was like, yay. Oh, there you go. He gave me some new cola. I guess that's a... <laughs> I don't... There are no radiation scorpions there. For the bottle and cat missions, you don't have to worry about radiation scorpions. You just... If you're going to send people out on that mission, you want to... And you don't think you're ready. If you have the bear stats and you have uh, the, the weapons for it, just send your people out with the maximum amount of uh, sim packs and and rate aways if you send them out with 25 and 25 you, you'll be fine because it, uh, it's best to have 25 or both because um, you might encounter ghouls or something see now I'm producing now I have a lot of I would have to look at the the, the mission again. You 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 mean the first bottle one cap? You, don't worry about the first one. The first one is easy. Just just make sure to send people out with um simpat. Just make sure you have the maximum amount of simpat and they will survive it. Even if you don't have a lot of radioways, you can just radi radiation aways or whatever that what it's called. Um, you can just send uh, like a little bit. Send them with one or two. Anyway, and and um, bottle here had gave me a new cola, so that's why I like to follow them around. 
Nice, nice. Then you're ready. Go send them. I recommend doing that one. Oh, I recommend you do um, the limited uh, time missions. Not the daily quest or the weekly quest. You can ignore those. Well, technically, you, you should probably do them if you can do them. But these are pretty tough. Like the level 41, level 43, 17 damage weapon. I know for a fact that's going to be hard. But the ones that are flashing limited time, you want to do those. Sec, I'm just looking at stuff here. For the first bot one cap? Uh let me Yeah, you're good. I think it's meant to be done over. Raiders. See, as you can see, the sun is setting, and uh, I like the change in weather. There's never any rain, I guess, because there's a desert wasteland, I guess. I still don't have enough power. Yeah, you're definitely ready. You're gonna find that mission to be easy. If you're gonna send them out with those weapons, just, do you have a pet? Make sure to send them out with one pet. Then you don't really have to worry about anything. Yeah, you're ready. You, you're gonna. That mission isn't gonna be hard for you. If if you're gonna send them out with a weapon that does 15 to 16 damage, you're fine. Though I, I wouldn't send out my best weapons. You want your best weapons. You want your best two weapons to be up here, so that you can fight raiders. But you know, if your weapon does like ten damage, you're 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 set for that mission. You're good. And now, when I say the mission, I mean all of the missions, because it's a series of five missions. And uh, with a with a weapon with that does ten damage, you're fine. Even slightly less. Now, what the hell was I thinking? I was thinking of doing something. It's funny now, I don't remember. Oh yeah, I was contemplating that I probably should have sent this guy out to the waste. Maybe her. So they could level up faster, but fine. If we can carry any more crap, maybe he can't. An enhanced pistol. Ah, oh, there he is. I keep getting raiders. I like the raiders though. So when you play survival mode early on, you're gonna get a lot of raiders. And the raiders are the ones who gave me a lot of good weapons. 
That's the irony. They gave me good. They, some of them gave me good outfits. That's I got. That's where I got most of my outfits early on from the raiders and the weapons. And I was able to arm everyone with like six to eight damage shotguns. And some of them, sometimes they gave me like flamers. This guy refuses to die. He's just there all dramatic. It's like, oh, I have a tummy gate. Oh, I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I ate something bad. I'm gonna throw up. Oh. <laughs> they die so dramatically. <laughs> So one raider gives you either a weapon, an outfit, or a blueprint, and um, all the other ones give you bottle caps. So if there's just more raiders, that means just more bottle caps. Anyway, I was gonna make a weapon, I think. No, I need the globes. I need the shovels, though. Hmm. It's a shame they're not training their endurance, but... It is what it is. No, that one I've, I haven't gotten. The closest I've gotten to that kind of shotgun is this one. Which is a combat shotgun. I don't think I can even make it. Let's see if I can make it. I can create a hardened shot of shotgun, but that's not good. Not that good. Um, let's see. I know what it looks like, so I can just skip here. I can build an enhanced combat shotgun, but not the hardened one. Oh, here it is, the hardened combat shotgun. I, I need a globe to make it. It is. Yeah, she's gonna just stay there. I think I'm gonna stabilize my power issues. Well, early on, yeah. That's pretty good. Finally, my people can fully train. It only took an hour and a half. There you are. 
The stranger sometimes appears in elevators, you know? So sometimes it's hard to spot him. But I don't bother to look for him anymore. I used to look for the... Yeah, I think it is. I think he's, uh, she's finding me, helping me find a lot of stuff. I mean, I don't remember normally you find this much stuff. It seems like a lot of more stuff than normal. Most of it is crap. Most of it is crap, I have to admit. But most of it is always crap. Except for this. And that. Like, and the teddy bear. And this. But like, and, then, and, and the microscope, I didn't need that. And this is good, I'm sure. And another teddy bear. Most of the, most of the junk, the junk is gray. But everything, but everything else is like I don't need. Like I'm gonna scrap all of that except for the junk. And I'm scrapping them for two reasons. One, I need resources, and two, because uh, uh there's a trophy for doing that. And I want to get that one out of the way. But I'm gonna need to build another um another warehouse because I'm running out of space. Let me see, um, no, not that button. I gotta be careful because some of this stuff is nice. Look at th I didn't know I had to, uh, I had tactical junction in the, yeah, I have more. <laughs> I have more good weapons than expected. I don't even know. What's he using? He's using that. She's using that. Dev claws. Normally, um. I would expect them to take a lot uh, quicker to break the door down, but all right. I don't even defend the vault door anymore. I just you know let them break in. Because since my strongest people are working in the power plant anyway, let them come to me. I figure. She's not very strong, but since I had a few people die. Um. So there was an accident where um, these death claws were attacking, right? And um, I had sent the people. Well, let me just kill these death claws first. There you go. Yeah, death claws. That's why I build my base this way. Anyway, um, so there was an accident. Essentially, the death claws came. They fall here. They fall here. They fall here. I had one person working this power plant. I set them up here to back them up. And uh, when I did that, when they were fighting here, they came back down. The 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 animations was all messed up. The death claws came over here, and they were over here, but I was fighting them up here. So I was all confused for a few seconds, and then I noticed that these people needed a health, and I came over here to heal them. And because of that, like graphical glitch, two of my people died. My most important people survived, but two of my people, like the lower, one had, one had a lot of um, strength. The other one was sort of low level, not low level, but just not good stats. And so I didn't care about the other one too much. But I was like, damn! After that, I make sure to have someone there always, so that glitch doesn't happen. It was just a graphical glitch, so I was I was wondering the death claws are here, but I'm taking damage over here. What's going on? So yeah. Yeah. But I guess I guess this makes sense. At least they're not taking damage though. When they run away they're not taking damage so you don't have to worry about them. The problem of course they they go and hide in the like the shelter here. The problem is is that uh 
if you're cycling through your people like this to heal them when you're fighting you might accidentally select the one that's running away and you go into a different room and just just you're going over here going like this instead of up here and cycling through them that can be annoying outfits i need to like get rid of some outfits like this i don't need this yarn I don't need this. Ha! <laughs> oh, I see, yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of crap. I have a hell of a lot of stuff here. This one I should probably start getting rid of some of these. I don't know how you get cars from these uh, clothes, but okay. Like, I don't really don't need that many of these. See, that's nice. Magnifying glass, I need those. I need those for weapons and for, uh... What was it? The... the um, the wasteland gear, yeah, the sturdy wasteland gear. I probably don't need that many of these. Look at how many lab coats I have, that's insane. I don't need that many of these. I don't need that many of these. I don't want to scrap all of them. So it's gonna be a while. What this? I I'm scrapping them. And you're right, I don't need that many of these. I have better ones. I don't want to scrap them all, but... Yeah, you know what, I'm going to scrap them all. I don't need that many of these, god dang. But I don't want to scrap them all. I really don't need that many lap coats, I swear. Room's on fire. Yeah, I'm gonna scrap some more, but I wanted to pay attention to what the hell's going on over here. See, that's why I built myself down here. See all these fires are just uh, spreading around. And this barracks, this living room might change though. Probably build it closer north or something. There's a reason why I have so much crap because I am gonna make more uh, dwellers the old fashioned way. They're gonna need something. And a lot of my stuff is because of the uh, this. As you can see. I have a lot of junk, but not the junk that I want. Just a lot of cars and a lot of yarn. I don't want to sell them though. Alright, put the elevator here. The storage room. There 
it's maxed. Now I, and I can store 120 more stuff, I think, or 15. I don't even know. peaceful so far okay so he's finding me some more stuff look at that he's found me another duct tape he's found me that but the weapons all suck all the weapons suck sometimes they find good weapons I swear I've seen him find me a good weapon not him but like other NPCs wandering the waste maybe that kind of weapon maybe a weapon like more powerful than that I think maybe a sniper. Not a great weapon, but a weapon that does like 10 damage or something, or close to it. And that's probably the best I've seen. I don't remember at this point. Raiders. There's always five now. I don't know why I have food issues all of a sudden. Specifically why I trained her. I was just gonna focus on like uh, training her for. I don't even know. I think I was. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to train her for a mission or for a diner. But I made her um, agility to max. But then I trained her strength to max, and I I could switch her between the power plants and the diner at will. That's why I have her like that. She's gonna stay in the diner, but she's gonna I'm gonna switch her between the power plant and the diner. And she also has a, a max endurance as you can see. So she's gonna have a lot of health. I collect them to scrap them mostly. Seriously, I don't know what why I'm running out of like food. I don't know what it is, I had like plenty of food before, but now I'm running out of food. It's like... Maybe it was because I was too busy looking at this stuff here. I'm gonna have an awful lot of stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure I don't need this. See, the professor outfit is better than the than the lab coats, but the lab co the professor outfits cannot be used by females. But I'm gonna scrap some of these. I do need magnifying glasses, so that is gonna help. I'm just gonna keep scrapping until I only have ten of you. There you go. I don't need that many of you. But I'll leave three of them. I don't really need that many of this one either. That's it, I'll leave that alone. The problem with having low food, your people start taking damage. Him. I should. You should train strength, I guess. Should put her training agility, but I don't know. Let's see.
There's a lot of people with 10 strength here, so they're not going to leave the agility area. He's the only one I can move. It's cool. You have a good night. Bang. Ah, look at the ghouls. Yeah, you have a good night. Essentially, I'm just gonna um, probably do this mission over here. So, yeah, that's the only thing you'll miss. I am gonna send that search the nuclear power plant for Paula Pumpkin. This one I'll do overnight, but this one I'll do next. I just have to wait for my people to... Okay, now I can rush them back, so that's fantastic. Could have rushed them back sooner, but I only wanted to use one new cola for that. Look at that. Nice. Institute Diner. I need to build one of those, uh... Steam workshops. Why are you taking damage? Now that I think about it, I wanted to put Butch Training Strength. Oh look, I found a mission in the wasteland. Uh, sure, I haven't tried the multiplayer No Mask guy yet. Enter. That's gonna be a problem. If this is gonna be a hard mission, I'm just gonna abandon it and, and return because I don't have a lot of sim packs now. He does have a strong um, weapon. Eliminate the raider. We'll see what the raider is like. Uh, just the one raider. Can I get on that in on pump number two? <laughs> I answered that question though, so it was funny, but they just attacked me. Don't mind me, I'll be on my way. I'm just here for the loot. <laughs> um, I don't know. Next time I'll answer this one, but I want to answer this one. Damn, that's harsh. Oh, this is gonna be an easy one. I think. I don't know. I'm not doing much damage to her. Okay, no. I am. The dog isn't even attacking, it's just barking. Yeah, but no man's guy, I've been meaning to get back into it, yeah. I should play it like later today. Or if not, I'll, I'll play tomorrow or something. So apparently No Man's Sky with the update has multiplayer, so apparently you can meet random people and there can be like in a session 16 people. Like, okay, you have a good night. And uh, apparently, uh, like, like if you're on your session, like you can meet 15 other people at once. Uh, or you can have like three people on like a squad to do missions, I guess. Multiplayer missions. Huh. Nice, he gave me new, she gave me new call up. Very nice. Red rocket. Gas and go. So I guess this mission always just gives me new cola. That's fantastic. 
think I'm gonna bring him back though, cause he was already out there in the wasteland for like a day. I did that overnight to do it an, obje uh, an objective, which I completed. Gave me bottle caps. I mean, I can still have him there, but he only has like 11 uh, syntax. The f look at all this lab coat. Look at all this stuff. It's gonna take him 15 hours to get back. You keep exploring. <laughs> 15 hours to get back. I do that overnight. Well, when I take a break from this game, I'm gonna bring him back. <laughs> and, then, and then I'll get him the next day or something, because that's crazy. Yeah, they, br they brought me a lunchbox. But I want to send them on this mission. Her and I guess this guy. Do you really need that cat? I don't... Sure, why not? I'm not sending anyone else out there. I don't have the people to send out another person on a mission. this up but I don't really need to I don't know why my power and food are so bad I got like three I got like four people working in the cafeteria I don't Come on, like, really? I don't think she's helping. I literally think I need to build another cafeteria. But I don't, I'm gonna have to do that actually. I really am. It doesn't look like I do need it, but I don't know. Because I figure I'll keep those two and I'll build a. Um, there is something I can build here. This, the new cola bottler. Apparently, that produces water and food. As you can see by the symbol next to it. This is, produces um, a garden. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to build a garden. And then a water purification. Just to see what it looks like, I guess. I'll keep this diner here, though. There you go. Oh, Fader, come on. Radiation Scorpion? No, Roaches. Okay. I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna rush this mission oh I forgot to check the guy over there with the uh, he's already finished training his perception I guess I don't think this will be a long one though
Oh, this is a nuclear power plant? Oh, it's a long one. What the fuck? <laughs> the last one of these had a radiation scorpion, so... That ne won't necessarily be good. I forgot to pick up the loot. Nice. New cola. It's already worth it. Interesting. That's, that's a, this is a long mission. Okay, no radiation scorpion so far. <laughs> The sucky thing is, is that if you enter a, a area, the radiation scorpion, you can't just leave the area. You're gonna have to like either kill it or just uh, quit the mission. Doesn't seem like a hard mission, but that's long. You wouldn't think a nuclear power plant would have so many, uh, would look like a building. <laughs> it has so many floors. Oh my god, what the fuck? What is going on? Got a perfect one there. Nice. Now I got four more floors to go. Nice, nice. Very 
nice. That said, um, I don't even know who she is. I, I just did this mission for this weapon here. It's not the best jump jet, but... Oh, I got a teddy bear. Very nice. See, I can leave now, but I'm gonna explore. But if I see a radiation scorpion, I'm leaving. Focus on that one. Look like one I could talk to, but I guess not. two more floors this isn't it doesn't take that long because my weapons are they're not that powerful but for this mission I guess this mission was meant to be done earlier on so my weapons are pretty decent for this there are other missions that take quite a while because you don't do enough damage Nice. Yeah, this is mostly cool here. Nothing but goals here. everything I don't even know who Paula Plum Plumkin is But 
were. All my low level people are training. I have a lot of level ones. I have a lot of level ones training. <laughs> I can open the lunchbox, I guess. Just want this incident to be over. That was like the worst lunchbox opening up I've ever had. It was like, what the fuck? That was just a waste. Like, I got nothing good from it. Nothing. Except for that camera, I guess. But the, I don't even know what the camera is good for. And I got 19 of them for fuck's sake. I did get some food though. Note to self, don't open a lunchbox if you have low food or water. It's so bad I'm gonna have to send her the water treatment plant. Alarm clock, very nice. I didn't need those. That's very nice. I'm not touching that or that or that or that. Tactical junk chat. I should get rid of the pistols. I don't need that. I don't need that. I got more advanced ones of those actually. At least I used to have, here it is, two at sturdy volt.
Wait, she shouldn't even be there. She should be training like her strength or something. Damn. I just don't have the people, the space for that. I do have the space for all of a sudden. That's, that's weird. this guy the greaser off and I was gonna give him the one that he came with minutes after that I'm gonna send them out on a mission and then I'm gonna I'm gonna recall this guy power my base up and then call it a night that 
that's not a good place to be. <laughs> didn't disappear so That's a bad spot. Bad spot, very bad spot. I have no power. What, really? 10% chance of failure, really? Still kind of annoyed at, of the complete waste that um, lunchbox was. Thank you. 
Yeah, it's good stance, but I don't want to send him out on a mission because he's a legendary. Ghouls. Actually, I haven't seen ghoul attacks in a while. It's nighttime outside, huh? I like how the time of day changes. I don't think I've ever seen the moon, though. Not that I remember. It'd be nice if there was a rain. Cab is coming around. There's 
looking at the at the people. I was like, I should give one of them a dog. Make them more productive. I have a specific dog this pool. How did you train his strength? He's meant to be a scientist, but I should probably train his strength. I didn't have a bunch of other people training. bottle will be generous. Because there were raiders and I didn't have to do anything. I didn't even have to heal my people because they don't Wait, are they stealing my bottle caps? No, it can't be. Got another one of these? They're stealing my food for sure. You know, if the vault was, um, Prosperous enough, you would think you could be able to bribe the raiders. Of course, a Vulcan only holds so many people. Speaking of which, I forgot the challenge. Look at these. I forgot to skip this one. God damn. Collect eight rare alphas. I can do that. I mean, okay, none of his alphas are rare, so that sucks. <laughs> oh, one of them is rare. Collecting them and making them are two different things. He didn't give me anything. As good stats as he is, he needs to train levels like a lot. I mean, he's almost done, but he's level 25 over. He needs to be level 40 though. This guy needs to be level 40 as well. 20, the difference between 25 and 18 levels. Still training uh, agility though, so it's gonna be a while actually. By the time he finishes training agility, Finish his training strength and agility. He's like two behind this guy.
Oh well, just the waiting game because I have to agree till they get back. After that, I'm gonna work them on the power plants because I have to. And then, then I should have enough power to power my base. And uh, yeah. So far, so good. If I need another power plant, I should build it. I don't even know. I say if, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need another power plant. I guess I'll build it to the side here and destroy the self logic center. This should arrive any second now. Things are surprisingly peaceful. There you go. It's gonna recall this guy. junk jet
What's the officer uniform? There you go, officer of teeth. Go here. Gonna try to power up this base. Yeah, that one is, is gonna take over overnight to get back. He thinks he's gonna throw up. Oh, the, the radiation damage. Give me liberty or give me death and or death. I'll do this one tomorrow. Oh, look at that one. Damn. I was going to do this one, but I'll do that one. Once my power is stabilized. Oh, it's stabilized. Okay. So he's returning, so that's nice. Yeah, I'm getting a invites there, but it's funny because I am about to end this. How did everyone take so much damage? question is, is everything powered properly? Did they give me anything? Nope. Well, they did and I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, yeah, they gave me a gun or something. How how much is everything powered though? Okay, the important things are powered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this guy right here. Place him here. Take her. She, she'll finally be um maxed uh, agility by the time I uh, continue this. Which, if not tomorrow, will be the next day. Um, he's not going anywhere. Wait, what? Okay, um... You go for luck. Not you. You go for luck. You go for strength, was it? One, two, three, four.
Oh yeah, and you, not you, you are gonna go for perception because why the hell not? Now all my trainings are full and powered up. I wasn't gonna, but I'm gonna do this one. It's easier than the other one. I can't really afford to lose this group now. The other mission might have a surprise radiation scorpion, so I don't know what to expect. God, I was just waiting. Damn it. I was looking for the the cat, but I forgot that I'm not sending him out with the cat now. The other guys, he has this, this guy. This time I will send you out with cats. <laughs> there you go. Oh. It's down there. Let's find them. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll continue this uh, next time. Really? Only two hours? I'm gonna leave it with the roach mess because there's nothing down there anywhere. And everything is powered, so this is fantastic. And that's it for now. I will continue this um, tomorrow, maybe, or the next day. Anyway, see you next time.